Hey everybody, this is Kyoshi Robert Torres with Crescent Moon Karate. Today we're going to be going over the kata called Teni no Kata. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our kata with our feet shoulder width apart and our hands in a good strong hachidach or ready position. My left leg is going to come to my right leg. So I'm going to bring my left leg to my right leg. My both hands come crossing in front of my chest and I execute two downward blocks next to me. Don't bring your arms down by your sides and don't make a letter T. You want your arms down at a 45 degree angle next to you. Now you're going to look to your left, cross your arms, left hand on top, step out in a good back stance and do a downward block. Then we're going to step forward and punch. Now on the next move, the front leg rotates back behind you. So you're going to slide that leg straight back, downward block in a back stance. Then step forward and punch. Next move, you're going to step back and do a downward block, straight back on the line. And now your right leg drops back behind you, do an inside block with your left hand. So let's do that regular speed now. Here we go. Ready? Hi Hut. 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 Second part. So the second part is the movements down the center. And what we're going to do is we're going to start from the inside block. So from my inside block, I'm going to step forward in a back stance. Punch. I'm going to step forward again. Do two punches. Straight punch, hook punch. Next punch, I'm going to step forward. Kiai. Punch kiai. Right here. So again, we're going to do it by the count from the inside block. Ready? Hut. Hut. Yeah. All right, so now we got up to the top. Now we're going to turn and rotate. We're going to do what's called the big turn. And every time we do the big turn, the back leg moves. That's right. So we're going to turn around. So I'm going to start from this center line. And I'm going to turn so my back leg touches the center line in a back stance. Now I'm going to do a lunge punch. From here, the next count, I look over my right shoulder, step back, downward block in a back stance. Now I'm going to repeat that lunge punch. Next part, I look to my right, I cross my arms because I'm going to do an inside block. I shift back, inside block. So you notice my front leg slid in and then straight back so that I'm on that center line when I started when I'm coming up, okay? So let's do it one more time and we'll go do it by the count. Hut! 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 All right, we're almost done. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna step back from the inside block, you're gonna step back again and do a rising block. Then you're gonna step back and do a second rising block and after that second rising block, you're going to step off to a 45 degree angle with the right leg facing your left corner, the core left corner of, the, of your studio or your, your room, and you're going to do a knife hand block, okay? So again, you're going to step back from your inside block, you're going to do a rising block, rising block, and then knife hand block and a back stance. So let's see how that looks. From the inside block, we're going to go here. One. Two, three. Now let's look at that regular speed. Hut! Hut! Yeah! All right, if you've gotten this far, you're almost done. What we're going to do is take over from that knife hand block, okay? So you're here in your knife hand block. What you're going to do is you're going to step forward. Your right hand comes back to your ear. You're going to step forward and smash. You're going to do a hammer fist, but sideways, like you're crushing. And you're going to do a jab off of the front hand. And notice when I do my jab, my left hand comes back in a full chamber because I'm ready to step out in a good forward stance and fire out a reverse punch. Then that same set of movements repeat, except on the other side. Block at a 45 degree angle. Left hand comes back now. Step forward, hammer fist, jab. Step out, reverse punch, forward stance. The last, well, the second to last move 
You're going to step back and do a downward block and key out here. Then you're going to bring your hands and feet together and finish in the same position you started and recover. All right? So let's see that regular speed. And that was Teddy no Kata. I hope you guys got a chance to practice all of it. It's good to practice it in pieces. And then eventually, once you have all the pieces together, put them all together, and you'll have the entire Kata. Keep practicing hard, and we'll see you in the next class.